We always talk about, you know, keeping it nappy and, you know, it's really just like a state of mind in the sense that, you know, you can be whatever you want to be and do whatever you want to do, but you just got to love yourself and be confident in the path that you're going. Because right. if you don't do it, no one else going to do it for you, you know. Because it's impossible to have love for anybody else if you don't first love yourself. You know what I mean? So, you know, I love the nappiness. <laughs> Nothing funny about nappy rhythm. We just do nappy stuff. We just nappy all the while. You know what I mean? So you're gonna get nappy rhythm. Every time you see Nappy Rhythm, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's a pleasure to have you guys come out. Thank you for my fresh yeah. new shirt, man. Yeah. Far Eye. It's Far Eye, man. I like that. There's a song in that somewhere, man. Yeah. Moo and I just working together, and I was making a bunch of beats, getting into really honing my production skills. And <laughs> we like to joke because, you know, we do so much work with. Thunderball and Fort Knox Five, and those guys kept going on the road uh, doing a bunch of DJ tours and leaving us at home. So we decided we had to form some stuff so we could take ourselves on the roads. I don't mind, man. You know, you know what I mean, I don't hands with you. And but then just the way things came about, like our interests, you know, Mustafa and I, we definitely have the same attitude about like pushing consciousness through art and but not being pretentious about it, you no know. No preaching, man, none of that. Which is why, you know, we give we give you conscious stuff, we give you booty shaking stuff, because it's all about, you know, life, you know. It's all about every person's aspect, trying to illuminate how we like to enjoy life and the things that we think we can make better in life, you know. So what better way to come out and give that message to the people than through music and art? Especially reggae music. It's like growing up in Philadelphia, you know, it's the whole like um, the Philadelphia International sound. So I was getting all that, that Teddy Pendergrass, all that stuff. So all that was influencing me as a, as a youth, man, you know? And then, like, as I started getting more into reggae music, then even from the Marvin Gaye, Curtis Mayfield, you'll hear a lot of that in our, in our music. You'll hear a lot of that influence. And then, like, reggae wise, um, as a matter of fact, I just went to see Barris, Barris Hammond like last Sunday. That's one of my strongest influences, like, you know, reggae-wise, because he's like a really powerful vocalist, man, for like forever. And I, I equate him like to being like the, the Marvin Gaye of the reggae, of the reggae world, man, you know what I mean? Because he, he puts in it, for me, from the Rolling Stones and definitely George Clinton, Parliament, Funkadelic, all that. You know, I think if you if you listen to the album, there's a song called Rostar on it that the lyrics of that it. really explain what um, the, how the nappy rhythm sound uh, came together and is a mix of a lot of different things and yet none of them uniquely. And also when you listen to Mustafa talk about you know his heritage and where he comes from, you can really hear that Philadelphia and even Motown, you know, soul R and B sound in the music as strong as like the the Trinidad and, and, you know, reggae sound. So, it's just natural. You know what I mean? Encouraged, you know? Just encouraged to be yeah. yourself. Yeah. I think it's really hard to say what people, what you want people to get from right. your music. Just want them to get what they get. <laughs> create create music that is true to, to ourselves yeah. and hope that what people get from it is a deeper sense of themselves. Right. You know? We, we see that as like cohesion, like how the locks fuse together, like, you know what I mean? It's like the tightness, you know what I mean, from, from the lock or whatever. We do the same thing with our, like our, our musical family, with the music, you know what I mean? We, we perform and entertain. We want to get intertwined with the, with the audience. We want them to be intertwined with the band. You know what I mean? Like one, one love, one movement kind of thing, you know? 
partying and enjoying the music and enjoying life. You know? Chance to free up yourself, you know. And also be yourself. And yeah, yeah and, enjoy and everything. Don't you know, do it for anybody else but yourself. Yeah. And you know. And it's not a destination, it's a it's a journey, like the whole thing is not yeah, it's definitely exactly. a journey. Yeah. You know? And just be be wise about that because a lot of people get fooled, man, and, and like looking for I don't know, like the the, 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 the quick the quick fix or whatever and they get fooled and they fall for it, you know, the okie doke man. And then they don't get a chance to enjoy themselves or their music ever. You know? Compromise their style of the music. Yeah, and always be grateful. Always follow your dreams and be, be yeah, grateful for what you have, what thing. you can always, do. And always, always be grateful for the opportunity you have to play music at right. all, you know, right. because it's a gift. And uh, some there's a lot of suffering involved in touring and being a band. Nobody wants to know about that, and that's fine because you don't have to, you just, just don't concentrate on that. Be grateful that you're there to right. suffer and play music because it's a gift. Right, because it's, it's not it's all suffering. I'm, not not all. All. <laughs> I'm just saying my advice to a young musician my advice to a young musician is is be grateful because yes. when you have that attitude you can enjoy exactly. being a musician. Right. Or if you're not grateful you're gonna not enjoy like you might play and have have a job but right. never forget that you're doing something that people we love to have every day. We yeah. make music, we make something that is art and we do it for for the love that we do that for the love of the music and for the love of the people seeing when they dance on the music that we play. That's the main thing because when you play in a stage you have a lot of people in front of you and you play music, you have fun. And those people they dance in your life and they you know uh, they they want to have a picture with you, or they want to have like uh, some CD or something like that's the main gift, you know. You have that exchanging they're, feeling. They're encouraged and uplifted. Check out the music and you know shit, get into you know? it because. The more you listen to it, the catchier it is. At least that's how I feel. And please come out to a show. I guarantee you have a lot to talk about. Yeah. And you'll dance, man. Yeah, you have fun. And by far, I. Yeah, by far, I. <laughs> I keep it nappy. When you Rastafari 